This is a supplement to Project Transparency. I need to go get a haircut, and I don't want to, so instead I'm going to edit footage from yesterday's video that didn't make it in, and make a new video. So, there. So, I have been doing my sketch a day, and it's coming along. I, 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 I am particularly enjoying the Funko-inspired things I've been doing, especially since I started actually illustrating characters, original characters, from the novels I've been writing for Nano, which none of them are done because, yeah. But so far I have illustrated in a Funko style Percy Gray, who is a Cacalia and a Gray Eye, which means she is, has tentacles like a cephalopod, and she is an oracle. She also is an applied mathematician. I think that's kind of appropriate, don't you? And I have illustrated Enum Hollow, who is ridiculously tall. I, it's Enum's height relates to Aya's shortness, so they're kind of they're complementary to each other. And he 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 is the main character of Zelandine's museum. And the other person I have illustrated is Aya Kaori McKay. Microscopically tall crow, because Aya prefers crow as crow's pronoun, is very short. Again, complementary to Enum's height. They're both genderqueer. Though Enum is much more comfortable in kind of a binarist duality of gender, even though Enum moves through it. But Aya is of a gender queer that is all and nothing and sometimes shifts more into a mask a masculinity rather than a femininity, but most of the time just an all or none. It's weird. It's exciting. I did get a question this week about who are my top five favorite visual artists, and oddly enough, I actually was able to come up with people pretty quick. I have it on the screen in front of me so I can look at it. Aya Kato, who is a Japanese visual artist. She's a super flat artist. Kiara Bautista, I can say her name, does still go by the handle of milk. Makes beautiful illustrations of Kikalia and popular culture things in meshed together. Camilla de Erica, who paints these amazing paintings of kind of anime-esque girls with animals on their heads. She does more than that, but those are my favorite. Annette Messinger, who is a postmodern French artist who came out of, like, the 1965 failed revolution in France, and she's mixed media and highly feminist and amazing, and you should go look at her things. And Mike Kelly, and his work is beautiful, and it's mixed media, and it relies on notions of nostalgia, and yeah, go look at Mike Kelly's stuff. Also, uh, Brian Kessinger, who does Otto and Victoria, Mandy Greer, who does, like, huge installations of fiber and wearable art, and, and Mochi Mochi Land, who makes these really amazing little videos of Amigurumi gnomes and snowmen, and, yeah, they're amazing, and you should look at her stuff, too. Everything will be in the drawer. I have no idea what that word is.